Alright everybody, I want to give you all a warm welcome back to Lost Odyssey. We're going to start our side questing bit of the game as we start in Numara. There's a bunch of rooms in the palace that we haven't been able to explore yet with lots of stuff in it. Because the most of the time that we've been in Numara, it, it, we haven't been really, I would say, wanted company. We've been chased through here and jailed and it's just been a bad experience for us. But now that we have Ming on our team, it'll be better. Now we're, we're, we're back here where we were actually being chased by the guards and Kakanas, and we weren't able to go in any of these rooms before. But now that we can, I suggest going into all of them. And I think this is the way out. I just wanted to check really quickly. Okay, yeah, it's the way out. Never mind, we're not leaving yet. We got lots of rooms to loot. Alright, and at this point on, I'm just gonna tell everybody now, for all you guys that are watching, this is where I really start to forget things. I'm forgetting little things like checking rooms and talking to certain people to get treasure hunt information. Um, and just, yeah, I'm forgetting a bunch of stuff. So I'm actually gonna be using a guide to for all of the backtracking places. We're going back to Aura, we're in Numara now, and we're going to go all over the world map. So I'm going to be using a guide to make sure I don't miss anything. I wasn't using a guide at th in this video, and I don't think I used a guide all the way up until about episode 59 or 60, I don't know, one of the two, but uh, then I decided that I wanted to use one because there was just so much stuff I was missing and I was getting frustrated. So you might see me like splicing in a bunch of clips and a lot of edits and things like that, but that's just because I had recorded like a few different videos and put them all together because there was stuff I missed. So I worked my ass off to try and get um, all these areas pretty much 100% complete. So I hope you guys appreciate my hard work. Lost Odyssey is really, really edit intensive for me. And if there is something that I missed, feel free to point it out to the viewers that are watching. There are some areas that I will be going back to if I need to go somewhere else first to get something done, I'll be coming back later. And I'll let everybody know if they leave a comment like, oh you missed this, I'll just say, oh I'll come back for it later at, a, at another visit date or something, but... I'm really not explaining what I'm doing because it's pretty self-explanatory. You're just going into all the rooms. I think there's two floors of rooms and you want to come to the Queen's Chamber because we were in here when we kidnapped her, but we didn't get the chance to actually loot around in here. We can't forget her chamber. Another cubic score. Ooh, eight. I do believe there's nine of them, and the ninth one is the most important. The ninth one is gonna do set off a whole side questing thing. I hope you guys have all been playing your cubic music scores, because you get some really good stuff out of them. And you can of course play it in Numara at the at the in the white square with the guy that's sitting there with the box. And I think that's it. And I know that I forgot a room downstairs, and I didn't. And I didn't go back in there because I'm a dummy, and I just, I just forgot, I guess, when I was recording this. So uh, I think that's it. I think this one brings us back down. It's easy to get lost too, because there's so many different elevators, and they take you to a bunch of different places. Like this one takes us to a different area, and you're just like, oh god, I'm so lost. Where do I go? Which is why I would suggest going to the link that I leave in the in the description for the complete item li items list. I have it printed out and I actually use it for my other file that I'm using to get 100% completion, but I don't really have the time when I'm playing, recording this, to look at it and like, like highlight what I've got because that would just... I would just like sit, I would have to sit there and pause every few seconds, so... Um, I know I missed the one room, and... but whatever. When you're playing, just make sure you get all the rooms. I'll go back for it later. I don't think it was anything really important, but of course I need it for the for the treasure trove achievement, so. Pretty much done with the palace for the time being. And from here, I guess we're just gonna go and see what else we can find. Because there's a lot more stuff we can collect and everything like that, so. Let the looting commence. We're also gonna do some more side quests for that for that little girl in the square later on, because I'm pretty sure we all remember her. 
And this is also going to be a little bit scattered because right now in this video I'm just doing everything that I remember by heart and then later on I splice in stuff that uh, I didn't remember and it's all kind of scattered. So if you want to make sure that you get everything in Numara, you'll want to watch all three of the, I think there's three of them, all three of the backtracking videos. And we're going to get some more dreams here too, so that's even better because we haven't gotten dreams in <laughs> actually a really long time. We've been so focused on storyline that Kaim hasn't had time to walk down memory lane in a while. I do believe there's three to trigger in here, so... We're getting closer to finishing up our dreams list as well, which you'll get, a, which you'll get an achievement for if you haven't played before. Now we're gonna go back to this guy's house. Um, we talked to him in, in disc one, and we haven't had the chance to come back here and talk to him. This was the guy that we had got the 19 crystal fragments for. So for returning all those crystal fragments to him, he'll make us something out of it. And it's a life brooch. Or brooch, I don't, I, it depends on how you pronounce it. I, I say brooch, but anyways. The life brooch will give you additional life, which is awesome it's a great accessory i suggest passing that around for all your immortals to learn asap okay what else was there to do on canal street there's another dream up here i remember that god and what a beautiful view can i just say again that i love the colors of numara it's so fresh and pure and just invigorating and beautiful i ugh. If I could pick anywhere in this game to live, Numara would be the place. Definitely. Goza being the last place I would choose to live. And once that's done... Ugh, there's so much stuff to do, I just don't know where to start. But I guess we'll just kind of survey the map here and we'll go to the very end to the port. And we'll get another dream, also. Yay, three dreams in a row. What a little thief. What's this dream? Lottery of life. All right. I got a lot of dreams to upload, apparently. Alright, now back on the- I decided to come back to the main street here. Because there's something that I missed. Where is it? I think it's over here. I'm gonna get something that the little girl asked us to. She, um... She had asked us to come and get a bird that was trapped under the wreckage from General Kakanas' tank. Let's just come over here and pick the bird up. And the little girl will magically show up and she'll give the medicine to the bird. So she's given us more, more presents for our kind deeds and we'll do one more thing for her. And then I think that side quest is pretty much over. So I'm gonna leave and then I'm actually gonna come back to get that side quest talk to her one more time she'll say that the bird wasn't hurt which I guess is a good thing and she's gonna ask us to go and get some flowers in ghost town so we're actually gonna go all the way to ghost town we haven't seen ghost town in a really really long time I don't think we've actually ever gone back there since disc one so that'll be a good trip down memory lane so we have Ghost Town on the agenda now. But I'm going to go to the inn first. Bef before we go any further, because there was something else that I missed in here. There's actually a few things in here. We talked to the people sitting on the bench next to this harp. Is it the, it's not the man we talked to, it's the woman. If I can 
talk to her. No, you don't exa you don't examine the harp. You have to talk to one of them. Oh, there we go. This harp hasn't been played in a long time. It's not been tuned. Now that we have Sed in our party, Sed can fix various items around the map that are broken. So Sed's actually gonna fix the harp for these nice people. And now it plays beautiful, beautiful, beautiful art music. And we get another component, so that's nice. There's someone else on this bottom floor that we have to talk to that will give us some good treasure hunt information. I just gotta find exactly who it is. I don't wanna talk to, I don't wanna stay, I don't need to stay. 150 bucks is a rip. Where are you? Ah, here you are. Rocky over here, like sitting on the couch. If you talk to this person, they'll give you some treasure hunt information, and it's actually right in the white square, so we pretty much only have to walk out the door to be able to get this information, which is even better. I like it when we don't have to go very far. And I think that's pretty much it, because we've already looted the inn on our first trip to Numara, so... I'm gonna go find the little orange dot in the corner of my map there and then search around there we go search around for it what do we get this time refresh a spell all right not overly useful to me in my opinion I'd rather use Zephyr or Zephyr but it's there I think that's pretty much it for the white square you can play the cube music scores with the guy over here if you want to. I've already done it and gotten my prizes. And I'm gonna go into this first house over here because there's apparently there's something in here uh, behind behind the store, like behind this curtain here or behind this door. But every time you try to go back here, this guy says it's off limits, and I don't know what to do. Like. I cannot figure out how to get behind here at all, and I apparently miss. I apparently didn't go into this building at all the first time that I played, so I gotta collect some stuff in here that I didn't. I didn't even go into the store, and yeah, the guy will not let me in, and I can't figure it out. If anyone knows what what you do to get to the back of that store, please tell me because. Just looking at the guides that I've seen, there is an item back there that you can examine. And I don't think you can get there by any other means. Unless I'm just sadly mistaken, so... There is an item there, but I don't know how to get it, so... That's gonna be a to-be-continued thing, because I don't think you can use the alley. Which is kind of annoying, I, I already tried, but... I think... I think <laughs> that is about it. Uh, yeah, no, nothing important or interesting here, so let's just go to Canal Street. <laughs> and if you talk to the people, they'll just tell you about how much of an asshole General Kakanis is, which we already knew way back in Disc 1. And we're gonna come down here on the left-hand side of the bridge here. Then before this area was blocked off, we had gotten the boys' gondola boat but we hadn't come back here, but now there's a little uh, path that we can take. And this salesman has pretty much everything that you want, but he also has a really powerful weapon that I would buy and some rare components. Those, those components are rather rare, so if you'd like, you can pick them up from him if you are really into crafting. And I can't walk, oh my god, thank you. That's all there is down here, but that wasn't in the game earlier. So just needed to wanted to show you guys that secret shop. And this guy will ask you how, if you're having fun with your ladies and I say yes and he doesn't give you anything. I guess he just is envious of all my lady love. Okay, so now we're making our way to the end of town. I had said that like earlier and then I had like a gigantic brain fart. I was like, where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. I'm gonna go to this fir uh, the first house here because if we talk to the people over here they're actually gonna give us more treasure hunt information and they're gonna give us some information about some treasure that's actually in ghost town and we'll be going to ghost town soon or, or soon ish I should say 
to go and get that those flowers for that little girl. So that's another treasure hunt that's very close by. And we're gonna go into this house over here. The we're gonna go to both. Basically, basically we're gonna go into both houses that are on this street because both of them will give us treasure hunt information. But this time the kids will give us the treasure hunt information. The mom's just gonna complain about how she's a bad parent. Now this one is is gonna take us a while to to get. This one's kind of just like way out of the way but it's good to get it while we're here we might as well only make one set of new mara backtracking videos really and that's actually for a new area so more on that later but for the time being i think that we're pretty much done with this video sorry my commentary was really crappy like like i said i've pieced this all together and i'm kind of yeah, I'm just kind of jumbled because I have so much stuff just edited together. So we're going to edit here in the port and in the next video we're going to continue on to Ghost Town. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you later.